Well, it's nice to see someone can afford to make repairs to their home. I'd better not get too close. If that thing comes crashing down, it'll be a nightmare. Tiberius, in all his glory. I wonder what happened to the leg. I'm afraid to breathe too close to this thing, let alone touch it. The leg doesn't look like it's too stable. The aristocrat. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Welcome back, miss. I trust the job went well? Well enough. Can I go up? Yes, but I'm afraid we're going to have to hold on to your weapon. I'm sure you understand. I do. Here you go. Thank you. Take the elevator to the top floor and let the soothsayer know you've arrived. Ah, the soothsayer. Right. He's harmless. If he tries to tell your fortune, just go with it. it makes him feel important. Thanks for the advice. That photo gives me chills. The plaque underneath says, Blast Day, always remembered. I really don't like looking at this. Some old guy. The plaque underneath says Caligula. I don't want to get too close. Who knows what kind of trouble I'd get into if I knocked it down. You've seen one guard, you've seen them all. This is one of the elite guards. They aren't allowed to speak to anyone. It's the constitution that was drafted in order to form the aristocracy. Touching that would no doubt set off about 50 alarms. I'll keep my distance. The banner has got the Ministry of Energy's symbol on it. There's not much I can do with the banner. <coughs> Keep it together. This will be over soon. Please, come in. This tapestry isn't in the best shape. The bottom has been completely torn off. It's hard to say exactly what, but something about this decoration is extremely unsettling. It's full of shards. Pretty, but I don't think it would help keep anyone warm. Steal a shard from right under the soothsayer's nose? Not the best idea. A bunch of baubles and trinkets. No idea what they could be for. Creepy. I wonder who that used to be. If that's supposed to make this place any less spooky, it's not doing a very good job of it. That plant is a hallucinogenic. No wonder this guy has visions. I think it's supposed to be a painting of someone riding a horse, but it's too abstract for me to be able to say for sure. I feel like he's staring right into my soul. You are the girl who was sent to repair the reactor, are you not? Yes, that's right. I've done the job. Excellent. Minister Tiberius will be most pleased. I have been authorized to give you your payment. One ticket for tomorrow's lottery drawing. Oh my. Is something wrong? Your aura. I felt it when I brushed your hand. My aura? Yes. You must allow me to give you spiritual counsel. I sense great turmoil within you. No, that's okay. I... Please, I insist. There is no need to be afraid of the spirits. I can promise they are more afraid of you. Oh, what the hell. I'll need both hands, please. Now please, relax. I need to study your aura. Hmm, interesting. Your soul appears to have a tiny seam right in the center. A loose thread, dangerously close to unraveling. The source of this seems to be a decision which torments you. What did you encounter on your job, if I may ask? I met a dying man. He made me promise to deliver a letter. I see. Do you have this letter with you? Yes, it's right here. May I see it? I feel it has great importance. Hmm, yes, fascinating. Minister Tiberius would be most interested in this. You should speak with him about it. He is just up the stairs. You may tell him I have sent you. Thanks. That was very informative. Think nothing of I shouldn't touch. Ah. 
Uh, hello? Yes? What is it, citizen? Your soothsayer gave me my ticket, but he said I should see you. Ah, lottery worker. Thank you for your service. What was your task? The broken reactor in Sector 82. You had sent another technician ahead before me. Ah, yes, of course. The one that never reported back. I take it you made his acquaintance. I did. He had been crushed under some rubble. I had to... Yes, quite unfortunate. I suppose you can consider yourself lucky that you did not meet the same fate. Perhaps this good fortune will continue for tomorrow's lottery drawing. Now then, what exactly did you want to speak to me about, Miss... Wellard. Amy Wellard. Well, the man who died, he gave me this letter. Oh? And he wanted you to deliver it to me? No, actually. He asked me to deliver it to someone called Danton. I beg your pardon. Did you say Danton? Yes. Somewhere in the Market District. I see. Do you intend to honor this man's dying wish? Yes. I made a promise and I plan to keep it. Then I wish you the best of luck in your endeavor. A word of warning, however. I have heard that this Danton runs in rather undesirable social circles. I'm sure I could take care of myself. I have no doubt that you can. However, I also think it would behoove you to refrain from mentioning any contact with me. Once you have delivered your letter, come back here. I believe I will have more work for you, with better pay. You are interested in more work, aren't you? I don't know. That last job was pretty dangerous, and I... Very well. You have your payment. If you choose to return for more work, I will not turn you away. Know, however, that my generosity has its limits. Now, if you've nothing else to discuss, I bid you good day. I'm sorry, my sweet boy. Where were we in today's lesson? I feel like he's staring right in... Your aura is one of the more vibrant ones I have seen in some time. Uh, okay. Here's your weapon back. By order of Tiberius, I've restocked your crossbow with a couple of bolts. Consider it a gift from the Ministry for your loyal service. Thanks. Soothsayer give you any trouble? No, but he didn't exactly impress me with his insight. I mean, he didn't even tell me I was... Anyway, I might be back later. My trusty cross. I've got two bull. The ticket is for this week's vaccine lottery. It's number 3211420. Attention citizens, if you spot anyone with signs of advanced green lung, be sure to report them to the Ministry of Medicine. Doing so will save lives. Gordon's good pe- Hey Gordon. Amy, what are you look- Have you got any- Nothing that- If you check- Bye Gordon. Goodbye Amy. Come back any time. I don't think he'd be interested. The next drawing I don't like... will be held tomorrow at sundown. How's it going? Not so bad. What did you mean when you said I should brush up on my calligraphy? You know, Amy, when I was a kid, I learned two very important things. One was don't leave the kiln on when you're throwing clay. The other is that sometimes it pays to read between the lines. You get me? I think I do. See you later. Take care of yourself. Hmm. Interesting. There's a chalkboard on the wall. You can't see it. At least this will make carrying the wood around slightly. 
I've got a piece of wood in my bucket. Uh, ex may I help you? I really should be going. So? Hi, Denby. Oh, uh, hi. I think I have a better idea for your drawing. Really? Why don't you draw a picture of me? I said I wanted to draw something funny. Fine, then draw yourself. Plenty of people laugh at your big nose. Whatever you say, Amy. Did you have any other ideas or... How about a drawing of Gordon with a pompadour? Ha! <laughs> Good one! Thanks, Amy. I'll get to work on that right away. Hello, Mer. Amy! I have... Okay! The Reaper watches from the skies and sends ahead his birds. Not sleepy, right? I should really start. The ticket is for this week's vaccine lottery. I don't see how I can use them. If you can't hear singing, but you see their eyes glow red, the reaper will be coming to, to take away the dead. Hey guys. Hi. I'll see you kids later. Bye. When the reaper comes around, he'll take away your soul. Put you in his pocket and take you for a stroll. I don't think he... I don't think he... Citizens, this is a reminder... I can't just... I can't just... The aristocracy... I don't think... That's how the government keeps us informed. Sometimes I wish they had some sort of shut-off switch, though. I'd love to... I can't just go around shooting everything I see. I have to conserve ammo. Mm. Uh, excuse me. May I help you? I really should be so. Just couldn't stay awake. No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. See you later, Gus. You bet. Looks like it could come crashing down at any moment. I'm not getting anywhere near that thing. This handle siphons the water up from the ground and into the well. The well's been filled recently. This water might not be the cleanest, but at least it's drinkable. I'm not really... Th Attention, I can't see any reason to lug around a heavy bucket of water. It's sundown in remembrance of last day. There doesn't seem to be any escape from those things. Nelson is probably one of the smartest people I know, and also one of the few I know who was around before the bombs. Nelson is probably one of the smartest people I know. Hi, Nelson. 
Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? Could you tell me what it was like before the bombs? Yes, of course. It's always nice to recall the old days. On sunny days, the sky used to be a beautiful shade of blue. You remember that? Vaguely. I was only five when the bombs fell. There's a lot of photos of it in my books, so the memory isn't completely lost, but it's not quite the same. Have you had many visitors today? You're the first, but the day is still young. I'm sure someone will come along. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to sell your books? Knowledge should always be free, Amy. Anyone can borrow what I have. Remember, if you ever want to take a break and enjoy a book, you're welcome to. I think I'd like to read for a while, if that's okay. Of course. What subject are you interested in reading about? I feel I need to brush up on my calligraphy. You don't say. In that case, allow me to give you one of my books on the subject. It will definitely help you. Thanks. Nelson's book stand. He's so kind to let. I should talk to Nelson if I want to read any. Anyone wishing to hey, enter the vaccine Good to see you, so Amy. What can I? The appropriate ministry and applying for what else could there not be fun? Have you heard of someone called Danton? Danton. I know a historical figure named Danton. Is that who you mean? I'm not sure exactly. I'm looking for someone who goes by the name Danton. Ah. Well, then I'm afraid I can't help you with that. Do you have any other stories about life before the bombs? Things weren't always perfect, you know. We had been at war for who knows how many years. I lost count of how many attempts at peace were made before starting to fight all over again. Who were we at war with? The SPA. They were, or I suppose still are, a union of countries who wanted our reserves of petroleum and minerals. In the end, they decided if they couldn't have them, no one could. And so they bombed us. I'll see you later, Nell. I look forward to your return. I think that used to be a broadcast tower, but it's been years since it was in use. It's way too f Just an empty shell of a Wilton ladybird. Too bad. These things use carburetors instead of fuel injectors. It's already been picked clean. I'm not sure how I can... I don't see how... Hmm. I don't think he'd... How's it going? Not so bad, Amy. See you later, Club. Take care. Hi, Denby. 
Oh. Uh, I think I have a better... Really? You could draw Tiberius with stink lines coming off him. Yeah, and I'll write Tiberius stinks underneath. Thanks, Amy. I'll get to work on that. Beware the red-eyed ravens, they mean the reapers near. Not sleepy right now. The reaper watches from the skies and sends ahead his birds. They let him know when someone dies, their mortal souls he hurts. If you can't hear singing, but you see their eyes glow red, the reaper will be coming to take away the dead. When the reaper comes around, he'll take away your soul, put you in his pocket, and take you for a stroll. Beware the red-eyed ravens, they mean the reaper's near. He'll take away your loved ones and all whom you hold dear. The reaper watches from the skies and sends ahead his birds. They let him know when someone dies, the mortal souls he hurts. If you can't hear singing, but you see their eyes glow red, the reaper will be coming to take away the dead. When the reaper comes around, he'll take away your soul. Aristocracy. I probably shouldn't mess. Hey, Gordon. Amy. Bye, Gordon. Goodbye. I don't think he. Attention, citizens. Two minutes of silence will be observed this evening at sundown in remembrance of last day. It really is a nice day. I haven't got any. Denby's. Hi, Denby. Oh, uh. Are those Tiberius's guards coming around the corner? What? No way, they can't be. I didn't hear the bell ring. Oh, sorry. It was just someone in a blue jacket and hat. My mistake. You have a sick sense of humor, Amy. I think I have a better idea for your drawing. Really? On. Okay. Hmm. I think I can get a clear shot from here. Oh, crap! <laughs> that was a pretty good trick, Amy. I won't tell him it was you. I just hope he learned his lesson. Well, since Denby's no longer using it, I'll just hold on to it for him. Let's take a
Hmm, that should be right, but now what? Nobody likes the sound of nails on a chalk. These are starting to look less random. I wonder if there's a pattern here. Nobody, these are, nobody. Nobody, these are starting to look less. I don't see. How's it going, Clint? Not so bad. See you later. Take care. No need to mess around with it. No need to mess. No, I think drawing time. I don't see. I don't see how. Fancy looking wax seal. That letter on it looks awful. Fan. I don't see. How's it going? Not so. Seal it. Take care. Just could. No. See you later. You bet. I think he'd be interested. Beware the red eyed ravens, they mean the reapers near. Not sleepy, right? I'm not. I'd rather. I'm. I don't. I'm not. I'd rather. My trust. I've got one. Reaper watches from the skies and sends ahead his birds. Say, whoa, Amy, what are you doing? Just letting these flowers breathe. Don't get near the broken glass, okay? Okay. If you can't hear singing, but you see their the eyes glow red, fresh air. the Reaper I really will hope be I don't coming have to, keep dealing to with take broken away glass. the dead. When the Reaper comes around, he'll take away your soul.
put you in his pocket and... Nice color. It's... I don't see how I can... I don't think he'd be interested. I'd rather... I don't think... I don't... I don't think... I have no reason to... I don't... I don't think he'd... No point getting that... Nice color. It's a welcome change from all this green and brown. Attention citizens, if you spot anyone with signs of advanced green law, no point getting be sure to report them to the Ministry of Medicine. No point getting doing so will save lives. A reminder to I'm not, all citizens I'm not, the next drawing in the vaccine not, lottery I'd will be held I'm tomorrow not. at sundown. Uh, may I? I so just could no ceiling. You bet. I haven't got it. Hello, Mer Amy. I have okay. Nah. Pretty. I wonder what. How's it going? Not so. Seal it. Take care. How's it going? Not so. Seal it. Take care. Poor Col Nobody left. Nobody. Nobody, no, nobody likes the sound of nails on a chalkboard. These are starting. These. Well, that did some. You! Come down here! Who are you? And what are you doing in here? My name is Amy, and I have a message for Danton. And? What is it? Those don't... She doesn't look very... He's studying some documents. Looks pretty and... Uh... Well, that's... You said you got a message. Here. I was given this letter to deliver to Danton. I see. Wait here a sec. Who are you and where did you get this? 
Danton, I presume? Indeed. Now answer my question. Where did you get this letter? It was given to me by a technician in Sector 82. He gave it to you? Why? What happened to him? He was crushed under some rubble. He gave me the letter after I agreed to, well, put him out of his misery. I tried getting him out of there, I swear, but he said this was more important. Damn it. Milton was a good man. His loyalty won't be forgotten. He wouldn't have given that letter to just anyone, Danton. She must have earned his trust somehow. Yes. Although I still have a few questions. What were you doing down there in the first place? I was doing a job, fixing the reactor. He was down there, crushed, dying. Was he now? Yes, and he asked me to deliver this letter. I don't know about her, Danton. Are we sure she's not lying? Bruce makes a good point. You could have just stolen this letter. How can we be sure you didn't? If I had stolen it, why would I have gone through the trouble of delivering it? If you're a government spy, you'd go to any lengths to find us. I'm curious, what was it you said to Milton that made him give you this letter? He asked me about my dad. Turns out they knew each other. Oh? Yeah, Cooper Wellard. What? You're Cooper Wellard's daughter? Come to think of it, I do see a resemblance. I never heard anything about him having a daughter. Did you know? No, I... Hang on. Just who are you people, anyway? Hmm. It seems he protected you from us. Can't say I blame him. Thank you for delivering this letter. In exchange for it, we'll let you out of here. But you must swear to me not to tell anyone what you've seen in here. I thought you were supposed to help me. Why shouldn't I just go tell everyone how pointless this was? In time, your help will come. Meanwhile, I strongly discourage telling anyone about our presence. I would hate to have to do anything to stop you. Fine. I swear I won't say anything. I'm glad that's settled. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to read this message. Do be careful with what you stumble into, and I'll just take that book off your hands. Tough lady. The best leaders tend to be. 